One sec. All right, welcome everyone to today's live stream every Thursday at 4 p.m. I'm here to give you the best uh, advice, habits, strategies to grow your personal injury practice. So whether you're, you're just starting out in personal injury, you know, maybe you're a doctor, you practice for five or 10 years and you're getting five to 10 new PI patients a month, I can help you. Uh, or you're a seasoned veteran in PI, you're getting 50, 100, even 200 new PI patients a month and you've been at that level and you're looking for new habits and strategies to break through that plateau. Uh, you just need new habits, new actions to get you to the next level. So welcome to today's live stream. I'm so happy that you're here. Uh, my name is Mark Slater. I've been a personal injury chiropractor for almost 25 years. Uh, I had my own practices. I've bought medical practices. I've been in the med spa business with multiple locations. I've even uh, been hired to be the VP of sales and marketing for one of the largest uh, spinal surgeons here in the state of Georgia. And I've just taken all these, all these years of knowledge, all the years of mistakes and trial and error, and I've just compressed it into easy to follow instructions. And I wanna share those with you so that you can grow your own personal injury practices with the same strategies and habits that work today in 2022. Because what used to work in 2015, 2010, 2005, those don't resonate today. If you want new results, you're gonna to have to take different actions. And that's what I'm here uh, to help you with today. So uh, welcome to the live stream. And the theme of today's live stream is uh, personal injury marketing habits that work in those that are a bust, okay? So let's start with some personal injury marketing strategies that doctors try and they get very little results, okay? A couple of those are uh, reaching out to insurance agents. Well, yeah, you can do that and that's cold calling, but is that scalable? Is that something that you can automate and do? And it's really kind of a bust. It's not gonna fill your practice with 100 PI patients by reaching out to every insurance agent. Uh, auto body shops. Um, I personally, and this is just me, if an auto body shop mechanic told me where to go to the doctor, I don't know that that's the best resource for me, right? So you can bring pizzas to these auto body shops and we've done all that. Again, it's not something that's scalable, right? Uh, and not all car accidents and body shops are the result of an, uh, well, it's just not a scalable action, all right? So let's talk about Google pay-per-click ads, right? So you go to Google, you type in personal injury doctor, personal injury chiropractor near me, and you can pay for those ads. But let me show you something. Okay, so I have this little sneaky tool. I'm gonna share my screen, and we're gonna look at uh, just that. So let's go here and I'm gonna type into Google car accident. Uh, let me just put in doctor near me, okay? And I wanna show you something here and I'll blow this up so you can see it really well. Okay, so I put in car accident doctor here. It says CPC, that's cost per click, $63.81. So if I was gonna click on this Ica Clinics ad, this owner's credit card is gonna wave goodbye to 63 or almost $64, okay? So I'm not saying it doesn't work, but let's just do some math here. Google sets these prices. So let me get out my phone here. So let's say you want 10 clicks a day right? 
Your ad is gonna pop up here. See, this says ads, so you get to the top, ad. Okay, so let's say you want 10 clicks a day. So that's 64 hours times 10, 640 times 30 days in a month. You've gotta have a war chest of almost $20,000 per month to be relevant in this auction. And you're gonna be getting a lot of calls. This does work, but here are gonna be some of your calls. My accident was six months ago. I caused an accident, can you help me? Uh, you're gonna get weird calls that are not gonna be good leads. But let me show you something else when you do this auction. I'm gonna scroll to the bottom because there's more ads at the bottom too. Right here, this is a paid ad. Gary Martin Hayes, I typed the word doctor in here. Well, Gary Martin Hayes is a big attorney here. So now if I'm in this auction and I'm a doctor, I'm competing with Gary Martin Hayes. Gary Martin Hayes spends millions of dollars a month in marketing. Julian Sanders Law, not a doctor either. Again, now you're competing with personal injury attorneys for the same patient. And you're not promising them money. You're not. Get the money you deserve for your injuries. You know, we had a $500,000 settlement with our client. You can't market like that. They can. You know when they say that um, it's not about the money? <clears throat> when they say it's not about the money, it's always about the money. Injured patients are looking for a payday, but they also want to get treated for their injuries. All I'm saying is that this auction is tough, okay? Because now you're competing with attorneys. A car accident home, car accident free evaluation, top accident attorney now. So there were three lawyer ads in this auction, and I searched the word doctor, two doctor ads, ad, ad. I didn't type the word lawyer. I didn't type the word attorney. I didn't type the word legal. I typed the word doctor. Okay. Well, maybe your question is, well, why do the doctor, well, I'm sorry, why do the attorneys bid on that phrase, car accident doctor near me? Great question, let me show you. Let's replace this word with lawyer or attorney. Whoa. Well, now I think you know why they're bidding on those doctor keywords, because they're giving them at about 60% off. They get a 60% rebate when they use doctor instead of warrior, okay? Secondly, all right, so we did the math. You gotta have $19,000 a month. And with any marketing campaign, for any marketing campaign to be successful, you gotta do it for three months minimum. Whether it's an organic campaign, a paid uh, digital marketing campaign, it needs three months to optimize. Do you have $60,000 to risk in this type of auction for personal injury patients? Some doctors can. I mean, ICA, Accident Injury Centers of Atlanta, they have, they have that and more because they've got billboards, they've got regular traditional advertising, but they're also in that auction. But most one-off chiropractors, maybe with even two or three, even four locations, it's hard to hack $20,000 a month in digital marketing. And the other thing that I want to add to that is, let's say you're doing this and you're doing it for six months and you did get some patients and you paid, uh, so you, you paid $120,000 and you generated $300,000 of build revenue for these personal injury patients, okay? Well, let's say you stopped doing the digital marketing, you cut it off you have not made one relationship in this business and your phone stops ringing. So if you're in an auction like that, whether it's Facebook ads for personal injury or the Google pay-per-click ads, the minute you shut it off, your phone stops ringing and you are back to where you started before. So what I just explained to you is how if you don't have the resources to be relevant and continue to do that month over month over month, it's just not gonna work. What works 
is creating the relationships with the people that can send you PI cases. Attorneys need to know who the doctors are in their town, even the towns 200, 300 miles away from them. Because I want you to understand the mindset of these attorneys. After the pandemic, and even a little before, we are now in a digital society. We're in a digital society. So these attorneys are now marketing all over your state with their digital ads, maybe billboards, radio and TV. Their physical brick and mortar location can be hundreds of miles away from the client that saw their ad and hired them because it doesn't matter where they are anymore. They are gonna send them a DocuSign contract via text message, or they're gonna send them a DocuSign contract via email. And at the end of the case, if there's money left over for pain and suffering after all the bills are paid and the attorney gets his cut, uh, they're gonna mail them a, a check. Some of these attorneys never see their clients in person because we have Zoom and we have texting and we have email now. You as the doctor, your geography matters because these attorneys have a rule. Uh, I talked to an attorney, my friend Evan, he says he has a five mile rule. He has to find a doctor for his client within five miles of where they live or where they work, okay? So the goal is to create relationships with attorneys, urgent care clinics, other physicians that are not in the medical legal world of personal injury and create relationships with them. Because the ultimate goal is to get on the attorney's map. Let me show you what I mean. Sorry. You want to get on their map. So every attorney that I interview has a Google interactive map just like this, and it's color coded. Let's say red is chiropractors that this specific attorney has a relationship with, or he knows that they practice PI and they have good documentation and he trusts them. Blue are going to be uh, medical professionals where red is chiropractors. Blue is going to be medical specialists. And because this is an interactive map on Google, the attorney will scroll over this blue guy. And again, this is a screenshot. So this is not an interactive map, but it'll pop up a little pop up and say, Dr. So-and-so, you know, fellowship trained spinal surgeon. You know, this guy might be Dr. So-and-so, uh, interventional spinal pain. This guy, you know, neurologist. Uh, so if he has a client that lives in this area of Atlanta, he's gonna execute the five mile rule and find a doctor within a reasonable distance to where the patient lives or works, okay? So this is Atlanta. So all the way down in Savannah, I see ads for Savannah doctors here in Atlanta all the I see ads for Savannah lawyers here in Atlanta all the time. Because again, someone in Atlanta may see an ad for a law firm. The person in the accident may not know that that lawyer is headquartered in Savannah. So that Savannah doctor needs to know who are the doctors in all the cities of Georgia that take PI cases. So when you have a strategy and you have habits that create relationships with attorneys and other medical professionals, that's how you can grow your practice for a lot less money and relationships can be evergreen. Relationships with the good attorneys. We don't have to work with the jerks anymore because I'm gonna share a strategy with you in just a few minutes where you can reach out to a thousand, a thousand attorneys for free every single month, get in conversations with them and get on their map. I know it sounds elementary, but there's really three things that are paramount uh, in my business. It's gotta be simple, it's gotta be efficient, and it has to generate profit. So th that's my North Star in personal injury marketing. Is it simple? Is it efficient? And does it work? And does it generate profits? And if the actions don't fit those three criteria, my clients don't do it. Now there's a fourth one. It's got to be fun. 
right? Because personal injury can be not fun at times, right? You got to negotiate with attorneys. You got to make sure the patients are compliant. You know, there's a lot of moving parts. So let's make it fun. The marketing should be fun. So when I condense it into 30 minutes for you, every single day, give you 30 minutes of daily activities. And I'll tell you what we do. We have a social media strategy. We reach out to a thousand attorneys every single month via direct message. Not text message, you don't have their phone number yet, but you have social media. And every single attorney is on social media. Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, TikTok, they're all on there. So are you reaching out to attorneys every single day? For 30 minutes a day, my private members reach out to uh, 1,000 attorneys a month, a certain amount every single day, and they get in conversations. So there's a social media strategy. That's the first pillar. The first pillar is a social media strategy. The second pillar is hiring a marketing liaison, a full-time marketing liaison to be out in the market, talking to other doctors, walking into law firms, getting to know the front desk staff, the administrative staff, the front desk person, the paralegals, the case managers, getting on a first name basis and getting comfortable with them, building trust, and getting the doctor meetings. Let me tell you why the social media strategy is so vital in 2022. Because back in 2020, when the country got shut down because of the pandemic, it created an opportunity for the doctors. Because the opportunity came, the pandemic taught all the attorneys how to Zoom. Zoom depositions, Zoom bench trials, Zoom court, and Zoom is here to stay. So if you had a strategy to reach out to attorneys on your social media and ask them to get on Zoom calls, okay? That's the benefit of 2022 and how the pandemic created a huge opportunity, a blue ocean strategy if you know how to take advantage of it. What's a blue ocean strategy? Well, I'll tell you. Let's talk about a red ocean strategy, the opposite of a blue ocean strategy. A uh, red ocean strategy, think of it as shark infested waters. Sharks swimming all over, attacking the same piece of meat. Like everyone's going after the same piece of meat. The same strategies, the same tactics, it's just shark infested bloody waters. That's a red ocean. A blue ocean is wide open space where there is no competition. So if you start this campaign now, you are gonna be so far ahead of the curve and you can create relationships so fast by getting on Zoom calls, multiple Zoom calls a day. You don't have to take an attorney to lunch. You should. So let's say you take two attorneys to lunch a week or even three. You can supplement those lunches with extra Zoom calls now. You see how that created an opportunity for you? And because the attorneys know how to Zoom, they're used to it. You're not asking them to do something they're not comfortable with. Incredible. So we have that social media strategy. The second we have a full-time marketing liaison in the field, in the market, walking in the law firms, attorney, uh, doctor's offices, primary care, general practitioners, and creating relationships and setting up meetings, Zoom calls or lunches with the doctor. Your marketer might be awesome. Great personality, gets everyone to call, but the, the attorneys want to know who the doctor is. They want to know who I'm sending my client to. They want to ask you questions about your documentation. They want to ask you questions about your bill. They want to ask you questions about um, your diagnosis and your diagnoses and, and your training, right? They want to know if they can trust you with their client and if you have the goods. I'm telling you right now that you do, right? You've all heard about this imposter syndrome. All that stuff is invented in your head. If you get in your head, you're dead. You have the skills. You can learn new skills. Uh, there's plenty of consultants out there that can teach you incredible clinical documentation. But what I found is that very few of them know how to market. Very few of them have not figured out how to get personal injury patients in your waiting room. So that's where I come in. All right, so the third part, the first part is a social media strategy. And I'm not talking about posting content and praying that people respond and call you. No, you're gonna reach out to these attorneys. Look, you're gonna reach out to these attorneys and get in conversations with them because direct messaging is back and forth. You can have a conversation. Emails, you just throw an email out there with a call to action maybe, and maybe some people respond. But email has a very low open rate, 10, 15, 20% if you're lucky. 
uh, in this industry, okay? Direct messaging, 90% open rate. That's a lot better. Okay, the third pillar, your communications. Do you know what these lawyers wanna talk about in these meetings? Do you know the questions to ask? Do you know how to handle their objections? What if they say, yeah, we already have a chiropractor in your area that we know and love. Thanks for stopping by. Well, how do you handle that objection? Or you have a meeting, you were lucky enough to book a Zoom call with an attorney. How should that conversation go? What I found is that most doctors talk about themselves. We do this and I have this machine and we, we, me, I, I, me, me, me. Did you ask the attorney what his pain points are? What keeps him up at night? What is he looking for? Did you ask him this magic four word question? What do you need? What do you need? And get in a conversation like that. So if you know what to ask attorneys and how to address their pain points, what pisses them off in this industry with chiropractors that they've sent their clients to? Because when you know their pain points and you have the skills and the ability to address those pain points, makes, them a no, makes it a no brainer to work with your practice and start building every single month. So maybe that first month, you send out a thousand messages and you get in four or 500 conversations and that leads to maybe five or six relationships that send you one case a month. You do the same thing the next month, send out those messages, get in conversations and you build three more relationships that send you one or two cases a month. Now you're at 16 new PI patients from when you started. Month three, you're doing the same thing. By the way, none of this costs you a dime on the social media part because it's all organic. You do that again, you make five more relationships that send you one or two cases a month. Well, now you're at 26 new PI patients a month. It's a process. And this process leverages what's called the compound effect. The compound effect says small, consistent actions lead to big results down the road, okay? The key word there is consistent. There's no days off. You do this every day. You make it a priority. It's 30 minutes a day. If you don't have 30 minutes a day to grow your practice, I don't know any coach that can help you, honestly. You got to schedule it and you got to take action. Knowledge is not power. I'm sharing a lot of knowledge with you here about what works and what's a bust in PI marketing, but knowledge is not power. Knowledge plus action, that's real power. Okay, so imagine you doing this work just on the social media side and you're growing and you're getting five new relationships every single month. Well, after a year, you have 60 relationships and let's just say they send you one a month. That's 60 new PI patients a month. I mean, if you're at 10 or 20 PI patients and in a year you can, 3x that amount just with the social media part that doesn't cost you any money. Greatest marketing boon I've ever seen in the 20 plus years that I've been a, a chiropractor. Because when I practiced and was really, really in PI practice, the internet wasn't invented yet. There was no social media. My boots were on the ground, knocking on doors, doing it the hard and slow way. It worked because relationships move the needle of your practice and personal injury. Digital marketing drains your bank account and doesn't create any relationships for you. All right. Okay. So I just want you to think about that. Think about you taking action every day, growing your PI practice, uh, doing it that way. So let's talk about this PI marketing liaison. Do attorneys like dealing with a personal injury marketing liaison? Well, let's hear from an attorney. Give me a second here. All right. I want to make sure you can hear this okay. I asked him, I was using a demonstration. The personal injury marketer was named Fred. And this is an attorney. Uh, and I asked the attorney, Scott, about why a personal injury marketing 
liaison for a doctor is so valuable to you as an attorney? Um, you know, Ben's, Ben's valuable because he becomes a quasi employee. You know, and so uh, so I don't have one person that I contact with this particular practice, and that's Brett. The issues I have is Brett. Client is calling me upset. They can't get in. I call Brett. If a, if a client's upset about the treatment and what happened, blah, 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 I call Brett. Um, I, don't, I don't have to hunt down a doctor. I don't have to hunt down any of the support staff. I don't have to talk about scheduling. I don't have to do anything. Fred gets it all done for me. I don't have to worry about it. So Fred helps facilitate anything that you need on your end. You just call Fred. He knows who to talk to in the doctor's office, whether it's getting records, getting a patient rescheduled, or finding out like what the deal is with the patient. You just call Fred, he'll get you the answer, and I imagine he gets the answers to you. Yeah, so usually Fred's just a pencil away, right? So I just text him and boom, I got my answer. All right. Uh, that's his opinion. I want to give you another one. Here's another attorney. So I asked him again about what do you feel about doctors that have a marketing liaison in your practice? Here's what this attorney said. Some medical clinics have liaisons, which is very helpful. You know, certainly I found myself now retrospectively or yeah, I guess in, in retrospect, looking at it, the, the facilities that have liaisons that come into our office or follow up with us or, or actively market us, we tend to gravitate towards. Uh, we've got perfectly good provider relationships with folks that used to have liaisons and downsize that portion of the practice. Um, and we still work with them from time to time, but we certainly don't send the volume that we did before because they're, they're out of sight, out of mind. Pretty powerful stuff. Pretty powerful stuff. The liaison makes it easy to do business with your doctor's office because it's just one person they have to call. They don't have to chase down the doctor. They don't have to ask support staff about a case and then put them on hold and go through your whole phone tree or whatever. The marketing liaison makes it so easy to do business with you. And that's from attorneys. Because I have the chutzpah to ask these attorneys maybe things that you are hesitant to ask. I ask, because see, I don't have a clinic, right? So they can get pissed off at me. But I don't care what they're gonna do, not send me cases. I don't take cases. I help you guys get more cases, okay? So uh, what I want to do is, if you're interested in learning more, I want you to type Fred in the comment section below. Type Fred, remember Fred was the example of the marketing liaison, type Fred and I'll send you a link and we can set up a 45 minute call. A 45 minute call to understand where you are in your personal injury journey or in your practice. And by the way, you don't have to have an all personal injury practice. It's just a vertical. You can have a cash practice, commercial insurance practice, Medicare practice and a personal injury vertical in your practice. And I'll show you, I only focus on this one. I put all my eggs in this basket. So if you're looking for all these other verticals, I'm just not your guy, I'm not your coach. But if you're committed and this is a priority, you wanna build this personal injury vertical, type Fred in the comment section and I'll send you a link to set up a call with me, a free 45 minute strategy session via Zoom and I'll show you the whole program and I'll show you the doctors doing it at a high level. Some of them are starting at nine, less than 10 PI patients a month and within 90 days, 50 new PI patients a month. And that doctor, you can talk to him in my private program because all the doctors can communicate with each other. So you can reach out to that guy and says, hey, Mark told me something on a video. Was he correct? You can reach out to him uh, in my private program. So type Fred if you wanna talk and see if we're a good fit. And then you can have a strategy. Just put your head down for 30 minutes a day, do this strategy, create the relationships, get those referrals, know how to talk to these attorneys, understand their pain points, and grow your personal injury practice. Let's keep it simple. Let's make it efficient. Let's generate more profit. And let's have some fun in the marketing aspect of personal injury. All right. So uh, this has been going on for 30 minutes. I've really enjoyed our time today. 
Again, I'm Mark Slater. My company is called Prime Spine Consulting. And I've got a lot of different programs to help doctors at all stages. So whether you're just starting out, you've been at it for 10 years and you're stuck, you've been at it for a long time and you, you got multiple locations and you're, you just need something to get you to the next level. I have a program that I can share with you uh, that I can help you. So uh, type Fred in the comments, let's schedule a call and let's grow your personal injury practice, right? I have a coach. Right? I want to know how to be better, uh, whether it's better in my relationships, my workouts, my finances, my marketing. You know, I hire a coach because I need somebody to hold me accountable and hold my feet to the fire so that I don't procrastinate, get lazy, take days off when I know that I shouldn't be taking days off unless I take days off. For the whole month, month of July, I wasn't even here in the office. I was on vacations with my wife, right? We make good money. We want to spend it on us. We don't want to give it away to the government or buy some more crap. We want to invest in us and have some fun. Uh, so thank you for attending today's live stream with me. We're in this group every Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern time. And if you can't make it, that's okay. I always put uh, a post in the group and you can request a replay of this live stream um, if you ever miss it. All right. So Thanks for attending today's live stream. Have a great rest of your day. Have a great end of the week. Uh, it's the last couple of days of uh, July. Have a great weekend. Um, if you're in the South, Southwest, or anywhere in the United States, please stay cool and hydrated and take care of yourself. Take care of your family and uh, reach out to me. Let's grow your personal injury practice. I'm Mark Slater, Prime Spine Consulting. Have an awesome day.